that is al-adiyat. And al-adiyat is from al-adu, al-addaeen. Al-adu or al-addaeen are no, they, they, the one who run, runners. You know, so Allah Azza wa Jalla start by saying, wal-adiyati dhubha. Fal-muriyati qadha. Fal-muriyati subha. Fa-atharna bihi naqa. Fa-wasatna bihi jam'a. Inna al-insana li-rabbihi lakanun. Wa innahu ala dhalika lashaheed. Wa innahu li-hubbi al-khayri lashadeed. Afala ya'lamu idha ba'thir ma fi-l-kubur. Wa husil ma fi-l-sudur. Inna rabbahum bihim yawma idhin nakhabur. Tayyip. Wal-adiyati dhubha. So Al-Adiyat, the runner, which is the, you know, the title of this, of this, you know, uh, surah. Whether it is, you know, the human, because we have Al-Adda'un, even from the Sahab of the Prophet ﷺ, uh, they were, you know, on the time of the Prophet ﷺ, including some of the Sahaba, they were Adda'in, you know, they use, they were fast runners. And there is a Sahabi that the name doesn't come to my mind right now, who was known to be Adda, you know, very fast in, in, in running. Or whether it is the animal. So this is applicable to both human or animal or anything that moves in fast speed. Adda, you know, moves too fast. But what's dhabha? Dhabha is the noise that comes as a result of, uh, of breathing without coming out from, from, you know, from the mouth. And it is more specifically to, you know, describe uh, uh, the the or, or portray an image for 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 the uh, for the for the horses when they get in the uh, uh, when they when they are in the peak of their performance when the horses are in the peak of their performance they they breathe so fast and you hear this you know noise that comes from 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 them as a result of their excitement and 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 being in the optimum optimum you know performance level uh, as as animals of race. So Allah Azza wa Jal says, "Wal-Adiyati Dabha." Though in some of the tafsir, Al-Adiyat here refers to the camels, because also camels are used for racing. They're used, you know, as uh, you know. Uh, once one of the Sahaba came to Ali al Talib radiAllahu anhu and said to him, "What's Al-Adiyat?" And he said to him, "The camels." And he said to him. You know, he showed him that he was surprised and said to him, what makes you surprised? He said, because I asked Ibn Abbas, what's Al-Adiyat? He referred me and he said, it's, they are the horses. And then they went to uh, Ibn Abbas and said to him, you know, uh, what would make you say that Al-Adiyat here are the horses? When we were in the battle of Badr, we, had, we did not have any horses, we had only a few camels. So whether it is the camels or where it is the horses, is irrelevant, but in the context of the surah, you will find that it's more applicable to the horses than to the camels. So, wal adiyati qabha, fal muriyati qabha. So, what's al muriyat? Al muriyat is is few is is igniting the fire. Qabha is when you struck you know two stones together. The spark that comes from that is what is qabha. You know. Now, when the horses uh, 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 is running, uh, uh, they, they move in fast. And SubhanAllah, Allah Azza have created, His creation is, is magnificent. When you look into the beautiful creation of this, you know, uh, uh, powerful animal that Allah created, and in the time, all times, horses were considered like tank nowadays. So if an army has, you know, horses, that means it's an advanced army, and their their advancement is similar to an army nowadays with tanks. That's that's like how powerful and how big a big of a difference the presence of horses in the battlefield or in the army would make, because they have a, a, a good ability to maneuver and to 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 you know uh, to run uh, between you know the the other side and, and to strike and come back again. So. The, and, 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 and this is known in, in, in the Arabian tradition as a matter of the fact the Arabian horses are known to be the best you know, breed of the horses because of their uh, you know, fast ability and or skinny you know, body but powerful, powerful muscles unlike other breeds which you know, are you know, fat and, and big uh, the horses, the Arabian horses are 
are known to be slim but very powerful muscles and have the ability, bigger ability to maneuver and move at a fast speed. So as a result of their moving in a fast speed, you know, running, they are, you know, they will be, you know, uh, 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 hitting the uh, the stones on the ground, and the, as a result of their hitting of the of the stones in the ground, they will the stones will be hitting you know each other and sparking, you know the, the you know the, the this the giving uh, making that spark that could ignite ignite a fire. فالمغيرات قدحا فالمغيرات صبحا. And uh, those what that that uh, attack early in the morning. الإغارة Meaning, meaning moving in a fast and this you know could be passed you know normally the tradition that it is used in the context of attacking the enemies but it also could be you know moving in groups like you know moving from Mina to, to Muzdalifa and you know uh, al -Ighara, you know they move this is the describing the moving of the Hajis from one location to another they move as they because they move they move fast but in the context of this surah they are you know attacking early in the morning and this is one of the most you know um, um, critical time for attacking uh, uh, as an army because in the darkness of the night you're unable to see um, unable to recognize you know recognize things around you and in the daytime you are exposed you will be seen clearly so when you attack the uh, uh, you know, the person or the group that being attacked will be able to recognize you and might be able to Defend, take reactions and defend themselves but in the early morning you know as the sun rises this is you know you you you, you come all of a sudden into your enemies and you attack them and strike them in in, in you know and when they were were not in, 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 in awareness they are not yet really fully awakened and this is the, the this is how the you know the Arab used to uh, you know strike when they want to attack they attack early in the morning and as the sun rises, they will be in full control of the position of the ground of the enemies. And you know, even nowadays, uh, when you hear about the attacks that take place and you know the different things that have happened in the wars that unfortunately happening in the Muslim Ummah, you'll find that you know the most uh, uh, common time for attacks would be in the early morning as the sun rises and still people are not fully awake and able to understand what's going on around them. فَالْمُغِيرَاتِ صُبْحًا فَأَثَرْنَ بِهِ نَقْعًا And as the horses moving in fast speed, maneuvering from, to the, from the front to the back, right to the left, they're, they're striking the, earth, the ground with their, with their feet or the earth with, the, with their feet. They're, they're, they, they create too much dust. فَأَثَرْنَ بِهِ نَقْعًا Naf'an is the dust that comes as a result of the movement of the uh, horses on the ground. You know, this is again one of the uh, you know abilities of the horses. The horse, because of its fast ability and light, you know, uh, weight, able to move inside the enemies and come back again and and to go to different directions. They go in the midst of the group. Now, all those things that we mentioned about describing the, you know, the al-adiyya, the, the runners, or, or describing the, you know, the abilities and the actions and the, and the you know, the, the scene of the, of the horses in the middle of the, of the battlefield, all this is as a qasam, an oath, in which Allah Azza wa is using the first you know, uh, you know, uh, work, uh, alert us to what yet to be coming afterwards, and at the same time to show the legacy of what he created, as when he said, "Wal you know, the, you know, making an oath by the night and 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 and, and raising the awareness about the legacy of the night, or you know, "Wal by the by the dawn, or "Wal by the by the sun, uh, and uh, "Wal you know, by the time of the duha. So all these are creations of Allah Azza Allah Azza makes an oath with in which you know he wants to raise our awareness to their importance and the same is to be said now here in the context of you know uh, al-adiyat uh, the the horses or the runners that, that runs in a fast speed allah is saying wal-adiyati dabha fal-mughiyat qadha fal-mughirat subhan fawasatna bihi jam'a athna bihi naq'an fawasat bihi jam'a all those actions and this is this portrayed image is a qasam an oath to raise our awareness and to tell us something afterwards, which is 
innal insana li rabbihi lakanud indeed human are to their lord kanud so what's kanud the kanud is the one who denies the haq the one who who uh, you know uh, does not admit easily the one who denies in the insan li rabbihi lakanud many of us as a human being are you know you know, so neglectful or denying to the, the gracious bounties of Allah Azza wa Jalla to us. Inna al-insana li rabbihi lakanu wa innahu ala dhalik shahid. And he is indeed testifying on that, whether by admitting that that as human nature we are, you know, kanu jahudin, you know, deniers to the, the gracious bounties of Allah Azza wa Jalla, or whether our actions speak for it, or whether, you know, the, the, this is what we testify once in a while, on ourselves in the moment of reflection or on the moment of evaluation for others around us. Look at X or Y, they are so canoe, they are so, you know, <laughs> denying to the, the gracious bounties of Allah Azza Or whether, you know, the uh, pronoun is going back to Allah Azza wa that He is testifying on us that we are canoe, and this is when we meet Him in the hereafter. Inna al insana li rabbihi la Again, the pronoun here could be to the human being themselves or to Allah Azza wa Jal with the difference of opinions among the scholars of tafsir on this issue. But you know, in the sequence of the ayat, it seems like you know, this is also part of what we you know, witness in, in our life. And that we are, many of us, you know, as a human being, we, we could not deny this fact that the majority, and this is an existing you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, drive in us that we are deniers. You know, and, we, and we come to, and we, uh, here comes the, you know, the the, you know, of the issue of struggling of enhancing your your personality and and and, and improving you know your your actions in life and your and, and your manners and akhlaq <laughs> so what's al khair good things referring to money in tarak khair al wasiyah in Tarak Khayr al Allah says, you know, when you leave, when someone dies and leave, you know, money, then the wasiyah will be defining how the money will be distributed. <coughs> so Al Khayr refer, refers her to, to money. And Allah is saying, Wa innahu lihub, wa innahu lihub al And indeed, human are to the love of money is so much. Their love of money is so much. Shadeed, too much. We love money. We love money. This is again an, a built in you know, drive. Is there again anything wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it. But what is important is to discipline this love in a way that will help you to utilize this drive of love to the money in a positive way that will make you make it to Allah in the status of Ihsan. Like your love to your you know, spouse and your, your children. This is a drive. You know, when Allah has said that from your spouse and your children are enemies to you, so be careful of them. But is this is something that built in. This is a built in. This is from the Rahmah of Allah. Imagine that none of us love their, their spouses or love their children. Who would look after them? But Allah wants us to strike the balance between our love and uh, uh, our excessive, you know, uh, 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 love to them that would drive us away from being focused on our life. The same is to be said for the money. Money is essential, important component of our life as a human. It is the, 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 the driving energy of life and it is essential, it's important. And this is why the Muslim Ummah right now is living in a crisis. Because we have failed to understand how to create money and how to utilize them and, 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 and properly use them. Look into the Muslim woman right now. The poorest nations on earth or the poorest countries on earth are the Muslim countries. Yet we are the you know, much, most rich in, and powerful in resources. Because we have failed to understand the concept of our attachment and our relationship to money. They love money. Would not this in a human or this individual know that 
when what salam إذا بعثر ما في القبور وحصل ما في الصبور and what was hidden inside the chest because normally no one knows what your intentions are no one knows what you hide in your heart is that what you know normally say people people say now except in the hereafter خلاص everything will be exposed أفلا يعلم إذا بعثر ما في القبور everything hidden everything buried will come to the surface once again it's a day of judgment and accountability and whatever was hidden inside your chest will be exposed to the public Indeed, their Lord will be aware of all their actions and deeds that were you know, done in this dunya. In that day, everything will be exposed to Allah Azza wa Jal. Everything will be there for you to be evaluated for. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us from those whose secrets are better than their public appearance. And may Allah Azza wa Jal make us from those who are able to understand and comprehend and live the Quran in their life. Allahumma ameen. With this, inshallah, we conclude Surah Al Adiyya. And I hope, inshallah, that next time we will be moving forward with the surahs that are to come, which would be the next one, Surah Al Zanzala. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين والعصر والسلام في الحسن والإنام والعصر والحق والصبر 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 والصبر